Yeah, it's Trepo Tech Ghana. If today is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, please like and subscribe my channel for me. Today, I will teach you how to download the necessary files for the unlock tool. So, you have to connect your computer to a Wi Fi network. Then, open the browser. When you open the browser, you type unlock tool. Unlock tool. On Google. Then you take the first link. Then you go to download option from here. Then from here you go down here. You scroll up to the down part. Then you download. You click on download files. Download file boot RAM disk iPhone Plus iPad. When you click on it, it will open a new page. At this place, like you, you can download all the files here, but me, I'll download what I will need for my video or like what I will need for my phone. So, this one is Fire Gangsta RAM Disk version 12 point XSXXX for iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. This one is for iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. This one is for any iPhone from iPhone iPhone 6s to iPhone X with iOS version of 14 point XXX. This one is Far Gangsta RAM disk for iOS 15 for iPhone SE first generation, iPhone 6s, 6s Plus, 7, 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus, and X. This one too is for it's far gangster RAM disk for iPhone iPhones with for iPhone 8 plus 8 and X with iOS 15. This one too is far gangster RAM disk iOS 15 point XSS for iPad. Year two, this file is for iPad. This one too is for iPad. All of these files. You need to download what you need for your video. This one is updated for updated file for iPad. This one too. iPhone boot RAM disk generic one. So you have to download this one. This one is needed. This one will be needed. This one too. If you want to use PanDFU method with USB and those types, that one you have to download both of these files. For using Gangsta method, then you can use the far Gangsta RAM disk. That one you can use the PanDFU in the unlock tool. So from here you download what you need you download what you need so once you download you click on it like this and you come here you click on download to bring you to this page then once you click on it it will start downloading for all of the files here so i have downloaded mine here is the files i need for mine Log to so, there are the files. There are the files. So you have to extract them one by one. You do it like this. You click on the file, then you extract it using Winra or any other zip file. So I'll do it like this. 
then it will extract. I'll click on this one too, then I'll extract it like this. With this one, the boot RAM disk is 15. The second one, we have to do it like this. When we extract it, after that, I have to rename this folder to two, like this. I have to change the name of the folder to two, like this. Then you press enter to save it. After extracting all these files, I have to come to this. I have to open my computer then you click on the C drive here then you click on the or lock to folder you click, on, you click to open it then you click on data files here this one data files then you open it if it's your first time opening this folder sometimes you won't see Apple folder there so if it is not there, you have to create a new folder for there. You have to create a new folder and name it Apple with the same spellings. Then you open it. When you open it, if today is your first time or your first time opening this folder, it will be empty. So with this one, you have to copy them to this folder. So like the two, you have to copy these two and replace it or drag it here like this then maybe replace then everything will go into this folder again so what is here will be show everything is here again so when you go back and you do the same thing for this one too you open this one open it again then you copy this folder to replace this folder like this then you replace the first in it and go back again go back then the file gangster ram disk you copy it straight and you drop it here it's the same thing if today is your first time then this folder will be empty so when you extract it and copy the same folder you copy the folder into the apple folder here like this and for the this one too, this far. After extracting it, after you extract this folder, like this. After extracting this folder, you have to open it. Open this one too. Then copy them. Like this, you select all of them, then you move them. That one, you won't put it into any folder. You have to put it here. Like, you have to put it here. So, like, you copy them and you just drag them here. And everything will be solved. After that, then you log in into the unlock tool. You log in into the unlock tool. This video will help those who are new to the unlock tool. The new members, or if you are new and you want to use the unlock tool, these are the basic things you have to do before so that you won't get any error. When you open it like this, then you put in your account name and the password. Then you log in.
some of them will be facing an errors when opening the unlock tool for the first time. But if you fix, if you, if you do the right thing first, you won't find any network, like you won't get any mistake or any errors when opening the tool. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Support Tech Ghana. So, when you open the tool, like this, from here, then you go to Apple tab, you click on it, you click on it, then when you go to RAM disk, you have to click on the RAM disk. The first thing that you have to do is to install the drivers needed, the DFU drivers. So at first you have to click install it, the drivers. I've, I've not connected any phone, so I'll find this error. But the drivers will install. The drivers will be installed. Yeah. The drivers is installed correctly. So from here you then come to this this place. The file that this these are the files here. Everything showing here. Everything showing showing in this section is coming from here. Coming from this place. From the unlock to folder. Then you go to data files. Then you go to Apple folder. These are the things here. These are the things here. These are the things here. So when you select it, you select what you want. If it be PANDFU with USB that you, are, you want to use. After putting the phone into PANDFU, when you can, you have to select the generic one or the two, and you click on it. Then straight, you go to boot. When you click on it, it will start booting the phone. Then from there, if the phone boots completely, you will see everything, you will see the information at this place. Then from there, you go to backup, and you backup your data files. Then from there you go to reset. After the phone has completed, completely reset itself. Then come back, you use the USB to the USB to put the phone into PandFU. Then come back and do the restore again. Follow the same procedure. Select the one you want. Then you click on it. That's what I want to tell, I want to teach you today. Thank you. Subscribe to Triple Tech Ghana.